My original desk PC was quite stylish, but not even close to being perfect. While I did appreciate the real estate, I didn't quite like its proportions. The desk was too deep and not wide enough to my taste. The drawer, made of IKEA Algot shelves, was an optimal use of available space, and the cooling, while good enough, could definitely be improved. I didn't want to just get rid of the current desk, but I figured it would make a perfect replacement for the dirt cheap IKEA table that I use for shooting b-rolls, which also doubles as a very wobbly workbench. Let's quickly go over the design. The hardwood top measures 170 by 65 cm, and it rests on a set of steel legs instead of custom metal frame, as I figured it will be more convenient. The left drawer holds computer components on a custom frame made from aluminum profiles, while the larger drawer on the right is for general purpose use. The top has exhaust vents towards the back of the desk, where the AIO color radiator is located. I bought the steel legs online for $120 shipped and did the rest of the shopping at a local hardware store. I got a beach counter top, 3 meters long, and had it cut at the store. Here I want to thank the very helpful and patient carpenter working at the Leroy Merlin Gigamarket store in Warsaw, he's an absolute lifesaver. I paid approximately $150 for parts that barely fit into my mini and after driving home I got to work. First the PC drawer. I figured that 60cm by 50cm will be enough to accommodate all the hardware and will allow for efficient usage of available resources. I cut two 60cm long pieces of angle aluminum bar 5cm by 3cm that would make the left and right sides of the frame. Next, I cut some smaller 2 by 2cm angle bars in half to run across the frame as supports for all the components. I fixed both with rivets, using edge of my workbench as a guide to ensure more or less perfect 90 degrees angle. With the frame outline ready, I attached another piece of aluminum that would complete the cooling section. Then I proceeded with attaching the same angle bars to establish the main compartment for the motherboard and the GPU. Next, a piece of larger bracket that provides left mounting points for the motherboard and acts as part of GPU riser cable support contraptment. I made something that resembles the graphics card mounting in the Dr. Zomber Sentry case. It involves cutting and attaching yet another piece of aluminum profile, establishing approximate GPU position and making two holes for threaded inserts. Next, I fixed the last piece of aluminum going across the drawer for power supply support. Then, I cut a piece of steel mesh to cover the bottom of the drawer, which I then attached with a handful of rivets. Next on the agenda was making holes for components mounting. I made the template, marked the set of motherboard's mounting points and drilled holes using a 4mm bit. Then I used the same method to make holes for the two radiator fans. Notice that there's plenty room at the back that will easily accommodate another radiator. I fixed a bunch of M3 threaded inserts. Established exact GPU mounting spot and made two slits for the insets on each side of the riser port. Then I cut another piece of that larger angled aluminum profile and fixed it to frame to have something to secure the GPU. Last on the list was a pair of aluminum brackets to attach the Beat Phoenix fan controller. I attached the drawer rails and move on to woodworking. I cut two pieces of wood to raise the top to a comfortable height. I measured positioning of the supports drilled pilot holes and screwed everything together. Next, I cut a 60cm long plank of wood in half and attached the other part of the rails to them. Then, I established the position of supports and attached them with a set of screws 
and move on to cutting the wood for side elements and drawers fronts. Having the counter tab pre-cut in this store made my life so much easier as I only had to cut the pieces to a specified length. Note that the side elements are a bit wider, so the front of the drawer has 3mm clearance. I attach both sides with a pair of angle brackets and a handful of screws. I fixed some protective felt onto the legs, flipped the desk and proceeded with making air vents. I marked the drilling points for three cutouts, each 2cm wide. I used a handheld CNC machine to make more or less clean grooves and cut the rest of the countertop using jigsaw. Which was a mistake, I should have cut first and then just trimmed the edges. It was my first time with a CNC machine and it wasn't exactly a walk in the park. To make long story short, I ended up with a single 5cm wide opening. Then I cut two 9cm long pieces of those larger aluminum profiles and fixed at either side of the drawer as front supports. Drilled some holes and attached the previously cut piece of wood. Notice that the top holes are a bit larger to allow some vertical adjustments. I also had to use some washers here and there to achieve perfect alignment. Then I applied a thick layer of black paint so it won't get easily scratched. Originally I was going to stain the desk, but after assembling it I really liked the contrast between the light wood and black legs that I figured I would give this look a try. So I sanded the top and sides with 240 grit sanding paper and applied two layers of oil. Last on the agenda was making a mesh cover for the air vent. I ordered some of that steel mesh that risers use to make their Hondas go faster, cut it and secured it in place. The desk was ready for final assembly. Starting from the motherboard, which rests on a set of spacers that I made from aluminum pipe. I fixed the PCI Express riser cable. and dropped the GPU in place. Then I attached a 2.5 SSD to the front of the drawer, connected all the cables, and after 30 minutes or so of cable management, the computer was fully operational. It took me another hour or so to move all my stuff to the new desk and cable manage everything. I'll be making a new desk setup to a video, so make sure to come back soon. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.